horrible video tonight of an almost deadly fight involving Colfax police back in December. An officer had just placed an intoxicated man in the back of his squad car when that man's friend started yelling in the street. KCCI Shana Humphrey shows us what happened next. Well, I'm here in front of the Colfax police station, and the video you're about to see is shocking for so many reasons. The first being, it took place right here, two doors down from the police station. You don't yell down the street like that. You understand it? His demeanor suddenly changed to becoming very polite. What started as a standard exchange between officer and now respectful citizen quickly changed. Have you been drinking? It's inside. No, so I'll, I'll breath for you right now. Step on over my car. Yeah. Uh, Step over to my car. The dash cam video clearly shows 23 year old Matthew Hollett pull out a handgun, apparently ready to use it. I was unprepared for it. The two struggle until another officer arrives. He was responding to the original report of public urination. Hollett escapes into his apartment where they continue to struggle for three more minutes, long enough for Hollett to ditch his gun. The officers get him back outside and tase him, but Hollett keeps on fighting. Pepper spray finally did the trick. He had what I would think would be similar to superhuman strength. I mean, it wasn't normal. Police believe multiple drugs made Hollett so difficult to restrain. It wasn't until Officer Kuhlman got back to the station and watched this video that he realized how close this came to being deadly. When it was happening, he never noticed the gun. My vantage point is I'm, I'm behind him. I'm, I've got a hold of his arms. Uh, I'm trying to control him. And I, I can't see what he's doing up front. Which is pretty lucky for Hollett. Uh, anyone has a gun in their hand, that becomes a deadly force issue. And after a year infamous for police use of deadly force, Officer Kuhlman says this ended in the best case scenario, considering how many times Hollett raised the stakes. The best possible outcome is that we're able to take a person into custody without using any force. And 99.9% .9 of the time, that's what happens. Now, it turns out that gun was reported stolen in a Knoxville robbery. Hollett now faces multiple charges, including two felonies. In Colfax, Shayna Humphreys, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.